If I pull a foil in today's video, I must open a vintage Yu-Gi-Oh pack. What's up guys, we're back with another If I Pull a Foil, We Open a Legacy Pack video. I've done a few of these, go check the playlist out if you guys have not seen the other ones. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Error Elemental Hero Wild Heart that is sealed. So it's supposed to be a secret rare, instead it's an ultra rare. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you want to see. Which of these vintage packs do you want to see open? So for our vintage pack lineup, we have Cross Souls First Edition, which is about 8 years old at this point. Then we have Extreme Victory, which is over 10 years old. We have a Generation Force, slightly after the Extreme Victory, so we'll kind of put them in order there like that. Then we have a Power of the Duel, so we've opened a bunch of these on the channel, but still have not pulled the cards that we're looking for, the Chimera Tech Ultimate Rare, please. Then we have an Invasion of Chaos. This is a reprint, but of course it's a classic. And then an original Magic Ruler Pack. So if we pull a foil, we will be rolling a die to determine if we open one through six, whichever one it is. And what do I mean by foil? For some, it's going to be a Ultra Rare, because if it's a guaranteed Super Rare, that's not a foil, because they're in every single pack. Maybe it's an Ultra Rare. If it's one that doesn't guarantee foils, it'll be a Super Rare. So we'll explain that as we go through. But I have about 20 20 packs that we're going to open today. They're all pretty nice, actually. Uh, some mostly newer stuff, but let's see if we can get something. Out of Cybernetic Horizon, guaranteed super. So an Ultra Rare Plus will count as a foil here. That's what we're going to do. I'll try and say it every time we get to a new one. Crusadia Reclusia. Let's see if we can pull something big. More Regenerator. Cyber Dragon Vi Vier, I should say. Hand Simmer Riger. Cosmic Brain or Cosmo Brain. That's a Blue Eyes card uh, back in the day, you know, uh, or at least in Duel Links. We've got a Universal Adapter. Ooh, that's a Vorticular Drum Gone. So this is a guaranteed super, so it does not count as a foil. So the first pack, a dud for us, but no big deal. We move on to Dimension Force. This is another set uh, that is guaranteed super. So we're going to be looking for an Ultra Rare or anything better than that to pull a foil. Starlight's in here. We could potentially get the uh, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. That would be pretty awesome. We get the Reaper Thumb. We have the uh Bufalucula. Okay, Branded Loss. I don't know these cards. Hydra. We got Reverse Jar. Pretty cool. The... Ichiroki, Ichiroku's Ledger Book. We've got the Predaplant Triantis and a Scareclaw Sclash. I think this is actually kind of a cool archetype, the Scareclaw stuff, but that's a guaranteed super, so no foil. Now we open up a set that's actually kind of old. So you guys get a nice little old pack, Maximum Crisis, six years old at this point. Ash Blossom First Ed potentially could be in here. Let's see if we can pull it. Ash Blossom First Ed is still pretty expensive, so let's see if we can grab it. Uh, Spiral Power, we get the True Draco Apocalypse. This is the first printing of Ash Blossom. Isn't it insane it's been six years? Zephyr War, we have uh, Turquoise Wonder, Cobalt Sparer. I'm literally saying everything wrong. This is impressive. I already do this, but this is worse. Cataroost, we have a Performal Pal Sky Pupil, and... Subterra Fiendus. This also is guaranteed super, so unfortunately nothing there. All right, let's try an Ignition Assault. We could pull the Lightning Storm Starlight Rare out of here. I mean, the chances are about one in eight cases, because I think this is before they added a fifth Starlight, but one in eight cases is still pretty rough, so let's see if we can pull it. Okay, I did the I did the uh, thing wrong. That's okay. The, the foil should be at the back. It's a guaranteed foil. Let's hope it's a Starlight Rare. Bellcat Fighter, Guard Ghost, Megalith Emergence, Megalith Hageth. We've got a Mayakashi's Manuscript and, uh, ooh, a Secret Rare Peekery at Ignister. That is indeed a foil. Secret Rare is the highest rarity besides, of course, the Starlight. So our first foil pull, our first chance at a Legacy pack. All right, we are starting from left to right, one through six. Let's see what we can roll with the die. A six. Right off the bat, we are starting off with a Magic Ruler Original Pack. Okay, that's a big roll. First foil, we're already opening something big. Let's go. Magic Ruler, original print. Can we get a Blue Eyes Tune Dragon? How cool would that be? Even Unlimited would be huge. Original cards, you can tell. One, two, three, four. We have an Octo Burser. Hungry Burger, a classic. Commencement Dance. The Metal Fish. Malevolent Nuzzler. Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Fire Kraken, Dark Witch, and is this the foil potentially? Hero Shadow Scouts, so just a regular rare out of our Magic Ruler pack, but our first vintage pack opened. We still got a lot of packs to go, so we could see more. All right, Magic Ruler, we do have a backup, so we have another Magic Ruler pack now that could be rolled, so we'll see if that happens. Next up, Dimension Force, first edition. I didn't have great luck with this set when I opened it up personally, so let's see if we can turn that around right now. Dogmatic Aturgy. We've got Heroic Challenger Morningstar, Ancient Warriors Savage Donying, Surprise Chain, Divine Dragon, 
Titanomachai. We got the alternative. The I, I, these are just too long. Heroic Challenger or Champion, Ice Shade Curse, and we've got a Performer Pal Lady Ange. This is when they got rid of rares, so there's no rares, but there are supers in every pack. Okay, let's try a Darkwing Blast first set. You guys know this is a great set. There's a lot of great cards in here. Cash Tiras are getting more support in the upcoming set, which yeah, I mean heaven knows they needed more of those. They I don't think they did, but. Who knows? One, two, three, four. They are getting more. That's all that matters. Let's get a Starlight Rare or, you know, a Super Rare. With the, there's a lot of good Supers, a lot of good Ultras, Secrets. I mean, there's amazing stuff in this set. We've got a Tessia, Pendulum, Bayrock Dragon, Tilting Entrainment, Tier Elements Heartbeat, Ninjutsu Art Tool, Iron Digger, Goaty Cosmos, and a Cash Tira Birth. Just a Super Rare right off the bat. No Rare, like, kind of throws me off because I'm, like, Rare and then the Foil doesn't happen in these. It's time. Legendary Duelist, Duels from the Deep. Not the best set ever made, but... There are two packs in this blister, which is pretty cool. So double chances at a legacy pack opening, which is, I'm sure, what you guys all want. So I'm going to do the uh, the first legendary duelist duels from the deep, and then we'll see if we can get a foil. These are not guaranteed foils. So this is where if we pull a foil at all, it will be a legacy pack. Marbled Rocket, Torrential. I mean, that's a pretty good card. Marincess Bubble Ring, and what will be next? I have no idea. Okay, Marincess Pascalus. And number 71, Rebarian Shark. So there was no foil in that one. But don't worry, that's why they are double trouble, like Team Rocket. Let's do this. We have pulled one foil so far. Number C101, Silent Honor Dark. Weird to see that as a common. We got Karyu Shen. Is, okay, it's the second slot. Does that mean we got a foil? Dark Reef. We've got the Full Armored Black Ray Lancer and... Citadel Whale. Okay, still not a foil. And a... No, okay, it's just random. I guess it's just different spots. Well, I thought that was going to be a foil based on the placement, but I was wrong. Next up, Battles of Chaos. A fan favorite and one of my personal favorites because... You know, Magic Karibo, Dark Magician stuff, some Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, Starlight, Dark Magician randomly in the pack. So if we do the pack trick right here, which we're going to, something wacky could happen. We'll have to find out. Let's let's hope it does. Shining uh, Peace Philia, that would also count as a foil. It is guaranteed foil in here, but we get the Dark Magician, obviously that counts. Serpent Strike, Ice Jade Erosion, Brandon Disciple. We got a Noru, Ares, the Vernal Dragon, the Anabimaru, a Soul Sweeper. Tribe Divide, and a White Relic of Dogmatica. Okay, we have one foil so far. We got to pick this up, guys. Let's go back to Maximum Crisis First Edition. Can we get Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring First Edition? I am down to do it. Let's do three, I think. We have the set rotation. Yeah, it's like Pokemon. Diddy Ghost, Gift Exchange, Kaiser Sea Snake, Spe Speedroid, Skull Marbles. We got the Disciples of the Draco Phoenix. The Dark Contact with Eternal Darkness. And Fairy Tail Luna. Actually, a pretty good card. There's another one after it. We could have done four. Pretty good card. Just a super, though. So this is guaranteed. Luna is a pretty strong card, though. I'm going to set it aside, but. No foil for that one. Now let's try our favorite set ever, Dawn of Majesty. Foil for Legacy Pack, here it comes. Will we get the Starlight Stardust and then have to open a vintage pack right after that? That would be quite the treat for you guys, as well, and me as well, if I pulled the Stardust. I would be okay with that. Let's see if we can make it happen. One, two, three, four. I think they still had rares in the set. We have the Alvain, the Essence of Vanity, Mew Trooper Fly and Sting, Magic Key Duo, Beast King Unleashed, Alien Stealth Buster, Monster Assortment, Glacier Aquaman Door, Jar of Generosity, and Trickstar Festival. Wow, these are rough. So far, just one foil. Here's one we haven't tried yet. This is probably going to be a hard one to get a foil because you have to get either an Ultra or a Collector Rare. You guys know how I feel about these Collector Rare sets, but King's Court was a pretty fun one. Let's see if we can potentially get lucky here and pull a Collector Rare. That would be pretty awesome. You don't you like usually pull a random Collector Rare out of a random pack. It's pretty tough. We're just going to flip this over because I don't know what the pack trick is. Pendulum Transfer, ZW Tornado Bringer. It might be next for all I know. Golden Idol. Oh, no, it might be at the end actually on this. Wicked Avatar, Unexpected Die. We have Warrior Returning Alive. And we have a Joker Straight. We did get an Ultra. Let's go. So that is officially a foil out of King's Court. Who would have guessed that one of the hardest to pull a foil out of, you actually get one. So that's a good thing. It's time to roll. Number two. Okay, we got the fourth one. That's Power of the Duelist. You guys' favorite set, Power of the Duelist First Edition. We have seen this quite a bit. I've had great luck with this set. I haven't pulled the cards I really want, but I've pulled a lot of Ultimate Rares. So I would love to continue to do that. So let's do four from the back. Chimera Tech Over Dragon, Dark Neos, Ultimate Rare. We got Flare Neos, Ultimate Rare, all that stuff. Relics of Starbird. We got Ambulance Roid, Common Soul, Destiny Hero Blade Master, D Spirit, Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, 
Synthetic Seraphim, and Neo Spatian Aqua Dolphin. That is a super, and yes, that's a foil, so they do stack. We will be rolling again for the Neo Spatian Aqua Dolphin. We do have an extra power of the Duelist, so that will be replaced. Time to roll again, one through six, here we go. Oh, it was a two, okay, a two. Generation Force First Edition. Let's go, Leviathan Dragon. Ghost Rare. I have pulled one for someone else, but not for myself. So I would love to do that right now. One, two, three. We have Crash Bug X. We've opened a lot of this set and not had luck for ourselves. Wind Up Dog, Element 2 Hero Flash. We got Gusto Kodor, Cracking, Goblin Berg, Treaty of Uniform Nomenclature. We have the Fish and Swaps and Damage Vaccine Max. That is not a foil, but that's okay. We got to open two vintage packs there. That pack will be replaced by a Judgment of the Light First Edition. Okay. Next up, we have Chaos Impact First Edition. Yes, IP Mascarena Potential. Starlight Rare. Let's see if we can get it. One, two, three, four. How crazy would that be? We have Dances with Beasts, Desert Locusts, Promedier, the Burning Star, Promedier. We got the Bayonetter, the Painful Barrel. Okay, these are insane. The Gladiator Beast Comeback. Gladiator Beast, that recently, it's crazy. Finish Track Brutal Dozer, Action Magic Double Banking. Peaceful burial. Okay, so there it is in the Overburst Dragon. So we will not be pulling a $1,500 Starlight today. Here we go, back to Dimension Force. You gotta imagine that we can do this. We can pull some amazing cards. Die Foe, First Dead, Starlight. Let's go. Can we get a Starlight from Die Foe? One, two, three, four, or any foil at all. We have the Therion Reaper Foam, Warrior Rocks, Sea String. Madden Annulus, we got the Sarcophagus, the Crow Tangu, the Hydra, we got a Rux and Spencer right to the Therion Cross. Not a foil, unfortunately. Not to worry, we still have more Battles of Chaos. I know you guys wanted to see more, so here we are. Battles of Chaos, Dark Magician in a random slot in the pack. I'm expecting it to happen. If that happens and we get double foils out of this, that'll be two, two Legacy Packs. Just calling it out now. One, two, three, four. That'd be pretty sick. We have Ogdoic Serpent Strike, Ice Jade Erosion, Mad Hacker, S Force Lipswell. We got the Fire Opal Head, Ghost Trick Siren, the Neroy, the Dream Mirror Trader, and oh, we got a Rux and Spatula. We have Leaf Place Place and Nordic Relics Savalin. Savalin. All right, not a foil. Okay, I brought a couple of interesting ones. We got Synchro Storm Light Edition. So these are very difficult to pull foils out of at all. This doesn't count. This little bonus card, even though it is a super rare technically. We have two packs here. These are both like three card packs, so it's going to be tough to pull any sort of like rare at all out of this. So we'll see if we can even do that. Synchro Storm Light Pack. Can we get Baron? That'd be crazy. We got Lyralist, Speedroid, and Pennant of Revolution. That's a rare. Okay, that's actually a good thing out of these. Let's try the second one. Synchro Storm Light Edition. Can you pull us a foil? Come on. Give us the Baron Ultra Rare. Quill Bolt, Speedroid. And a Fleur Synchron. Okay, we tried. We gave it our best effort, okay? Okay, one of our best packs today, most successful. I mean, one of two, because like one was a vintage pack pulling a foil. So two of the regular packs have pulled foils. One was a Collector Rare Set King Score. Let's see if we can go back to back. That would be pretty impressive. Can we get a Collector Rare? It was at the very back. Pendulum Xyz, Golden Eyes Idol, Ultimate Shield. We've got the Rescue Rabbit, Wicked Dreadroot, Constellar Tommy M7, and... Thunder Speed Summon. So no, we cannot go back to back, but don't worry. Still a couple packs left. Let's try this out. The final Battles of Chaos pack. We need something, guys. This has been a pretty rough opening. We haven't had a lot of good pulls uh, so far. We had one Secret Rare, one Ultra, and then we pulled a Super out of a Vintage pack. Come on, Battles of Chaos. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Give us the Dark Magician right at the front. That'd be awesome. Dog Matacacabre. We got the Groza. Dynamorphia Alort. We got the Dynamorphia Shield. Rock Scales. Pretty cool looking card. Doll Happiness. We got the Silver Silver Vine. Sinry. We got the Sword Soul Strife. And Nordic Smith Evaldi. Come on. Stop tempting us like this. We think that we have something and then we don't. Two packs to go. Power of the Elements. A great set. Super, super strong in the meta. A lot of really good pulls here. All we need is a foil. It doesn't even have to be a good card. You just got to believe here, guys. One, two, three, four. This is the blister opening for you where sometimes they just don't go that well. Enoch, Century of the Goatee. Melfi Wally. The Asakan, the Bicorn Goatee. The Pit Knight Early. The Venuslip of the Flowering Fields. Marftronic Telephon. The Ravenous Vindred. Vanguard of the Underground Emperor. And... 
and a Sprite Jet. Not a bad card, but another super. That leaves us with our final pack, and this is the biggest one we have for the current packs. Rising Rampage, the first set with Starlights. We could pull Apollos out of here. Starlight Rare, or, or Secret, that'd be good as well. But the Starlight Rare is big, big money. The first ever, one of the first ever Starlights. The other, there's three others in the set, so any of those could be pulled. Here we go. World Legacy Bestowal, we can do this. Some more Repulsion, Draw Discharge, Reptilian Lamia, Psychic Fervor, Marinces Current, We've got a Samorg Onslaught, and we have Shaman of the Tinyi. That's an Ultra, okay. Monk of the Tinyi, also not bad. Shaman of the Tinyi, look, it's not the, you know, Link monster we're looking for, but it is an Ultra Rare, which means we will roll the die one more time at least. Unless we pull a foil again, then we'll roll it again. Here we go, one through six, three, Extreme Victory. All right, Extreme Victory, and if we pull a foil here, any foil, We'll open another pack, so we'll see what happens. Can we continue? You know, this could go on infinitely if we just keep pulling foils. We'll have to see what happens. One, two, three. I'm going to do three from the back here. Scrap Kong, come on. Let's get that tour guide from the Underworld Secret Rare and then roll again. Boon of the Mechlord Emperor. we got Stapling. Ceiling Ceremony of Mokotun. Jet Falcon. we got Contract with the Aquamirror. Karakuri Cash Shed. we got Hushed Psychic Cleric. And... Out of the blue. So we're ending it off at least with a legacy pack, but unfortunately no foil there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.